Gentlemen, first question of the day is, how soon is too soon? If you're that man's piece, if you listen to that man, it's never too soon to commit. It's all based on chemistry and the individuals. You got that connection, then you make it work and you figure it out. It doesn't take a whole day to recognize sunshine. Control that situation and make it happen. You need to trust your intuition. You need to trust your judgment because you have it for a reason. If it feels right, go ahead and do it. Um, I don't think anything is too soon when you're purposeful and you're intentional about what you're doing. Bam. Good morning. I want to welcome you to The Point DC, the hottest new restaurant in DC on the waterfront. I want to welcome you here for our monthly cocktails and conversation series called What's the Point? Where we discuss hot topics such as love, life, relationship, and anything else that may come up. So you've taken out on a date, y'all vibing. Then my next question is how soon is too soon to become intimate with this young lady? Um, I really don't feel like usually you really don't want to have date on the, you really don't want to have sex on the first date. However, um, I really don't think that there's any time that's too soon. I think it depends on the chemistry. You know, there's some times where I went out with a woman and we weren't vibing and she still threw it at me. <laughs> right. And I was like, uh, that was way too easy. She probably throws it at everybody. This is too, you know, and there's been times where, you know, I was, we were, you ever been in somebody's face and y'all just like, you know, you just in somebody's face and you feel like you're saying all the right things. She's saying all the right things. The chemistry is there. You damn near breathing each other's breath at the bar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I'm, and we, you know, hey, I'll have fucked me too. I ain't mad at it. So if it happens, if it happens too soon, if it happens that way, if you feel like it's right, then do it. That's how I feel. I feel like women have intuition and they should trust it. And I feel like men have the same. Well, we don't have the same intuition, but we have we have a certain energy. We can understand when we're vibrating on somebody's frequency. So trust that if, if your intuition says, wait, wait, if your intuition says go for it, man, we're grown. Let's get, make it happen. I totally agree with what he said. Like, honestly, there's been people that in my life that I felt like maybe have been too soon. And then some that it hasn't, you know, because because you never it's the chemistry. Like I've actually been in relationships with people for years or even now still have a a relationship, even though, though we're not together, is on beyond words. Mm -hmm. Like they would be here for me, they would drop anything. I know I'd be by, by my side, hospital bed or whatever, even though we didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Or people that I've been with and we turned out to be a beautiful relationship and we did have uh, intimacy early. Yeah. So, but then those are some people you have intimacy early and like you said, is it for everybody? Yeah. But you can't make that determinant. I think it's yeah. all that about the chemistry, getting to you know to be open to something else. You got to deal with somebody that's open to moving forward. Yeah. Uh, and it's, that's kind of hard to determine. I feel like even with time and without time, it's all built about that person's character because you have people that will waste your time for months. And you're like, oh, I'm waiting on this individual and I'm waiting on that person. I'm waiting for that special moment. You get that special moment and it ain't all what it was cracked up to be. You wasted two or three months waiting on something that didn't turn out to be nothing. As a Christian man, Cornelius, would like to comment on this question? Ah, <laughs> <sighs> so <laughs> I would say for me, it's, it's it's a little different, right? So for me, you know, I, I want to make sure that we're friends first of all. Um, and the biggest thing too, a lot of times too, I want to make sure that she has a certain amount of conviction when it comes to sex. You know, things happen, yes, but are you going to feel any type of sorrow afterwards, or are you going to feel bad or whatever? Like, are, is, is it going to be one of those things where it's like, like you just all for it, like you know, let's just do it, whatever. I don't care. Or it's gonna be like, you know what? Let me let's wait a little bit. Let's wait. Let's wait. And then the purpose, you know, of course, you want to wait till marriage, right? So the thing is, when you wait, it's like you have anticipation of of that, like that being the thing once you get married versus having sex and then you're doing it and then it's like, all right, then what we got to look forward. We have nothing to look forward to when we get married. So 
if things happen, yes. But then in two, it's like, okay, am I going to repent of it? Am I going to feel bad about it? You know, is how is how is that part about it is going to be? So that for me, I always like a woman that has that type of conviction to her. You know, it's like a, I call it a godly sorrow. Like you feel bad when some, no, nobody's punishing you. Nothing happens. You feel bad just off the rip. Worldly sorrow, obviously, if somebody's you did, somebody got caught, you know, so. Uh, for me, I agree with these three gentlemen right here. Um, I, I, I appreciate I appreciate you. Um, <laughs> um, but I think, you know, when we're talking about moving forward and, and doing things in a relationship, I think that encompasses everything. Right. I think it encompasses sex. It encompasses how you love, how you show up for love, how you want to be loved. All those things encompass it. You can't separate for me. Uh, I don't want to separate sex from the relationship because it's a part of the relationship. So if you don't bring in your full self into a relationship, then I think that causes problems like later on down the line. Um, because we, if we are not sexually compatible, that may damage the relationship because you're lacking something in your fulfillment moving forward in that relationship. So for me, um, I don't put time constraints on uh, sex in a relationship or how soon is too soon. Um, I just think it's relevant to us as the two individuals that's in it. And if we feel that, you know, we're grown and if we feel that we can take that next step and we can be mature about it and continue to move forward and don't let sex like cloud our judgment when it comes to our relationship, I think we'll be fine. And to capitalize on what Demetrius just said, it's like it's a part of getting to know and developing your connection with somebody. And you don't like I've had connections with individuals. I'm like the chemistry is right on the conversation, but the sex is so bad that I don't think I can move forward. And I'm just, so it, 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 <laughs> and it's like I. You know, best, best we know now. <laughs> Let's get that out the way. <laughs> and to to piggyback on what you just said, I grew up in a church too, Cornelius. To now, and so the one thing that I have learned, because if someone had asked me two years ago, "Hey, could you wait to marriage to have sex?" I would have absolutely said yes. But finding myself in a relationship with a woman who I was attracted to. Same family values. We got along as if we were best friends. I enjoyed her family. She enjoyed my family. Everything worked. And, and, and we were friends first, but we decided to wait to have sex because we wanted to make sure this is what we really wanted before we, just in case we lose the friendship. Six months in, she said she still wanted to stay. I wanted to stay. Everything was perfect. After about 30 days, I did not want to have sex with her. It was the worst part of our day. We would spend the whole entire day together. Everything is great. She starts scooping up. I wanted no part to that. And you can't pray that out. Mm. And it's and, and I never realized how important that intimacy physically with the woman was until that moment. So I'm not how you believe how you believe. But to that moment, I realized that there was nothing she could do nor I could do to fix that part of our relationship. And I had to be mature enough to hurt this woman who did nothing to me but be herself. There was not there was nothing that changed like the whole entire like I said, we, we would go on vacation. Everything is great. But but when, when that nighttime came after the newness of it wore off of being somebody new and you got into the routine of just having sex with the same person. I just didn't want, I, we just couldn't meet there. And it was nothing that she could do. There's nothing, I couldn't change her outfit, clothes, nothing. I was trying everything. I spoke to my dad when this is tired. I said, yo, I'm at that age. Is it happening finally where it's not working down here? And it wasn't. It was just, we were not sexually compatible on no level. Go for it. Can you hear? Thank you for sharing your experience. I have a quick question for you. Did you watch my sex today? 
<laughs> to answer your question, no, we did not have sex therapy, but we did sit down and have a open and honest relationship because prior to that, I built up a level of trust and intimacy so that we can actually have that conversation because I'm really big on intimacy, and honesty and openness. So after we really had that conversation and we tried a couple of things, we was trying X, Y and Z. I'm not married to her. We weren't married yet. We didn't have any kids yet. So it was just like, hey, look, I know what you want. And so let me free you up so that maybe the next guy can do that for you. And same same for myself. Let me free myself up emotionally, mentally and physically so that I'm so that that next woman who comes along, we're connecting on that level. And I never realized how big sex is in a relationship. And two, once you ain't got it, it's almost like trust, ladies. Yeah. Ladies don't realize how important it is to trust a man until you, until you don't trust a man anymore, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to be the catcher. They're they going to they eat you up. <laughs> All right. So the to answer your question, the first part of it was I went through it myself first. because I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with me. We ain't never had this problem. I mean, you show up, I show out. I ain't never had this problem. So once I realized that there's, there was there wasn't nothing that I could do responsibly and maturely on my own, then I had to come to her, humble myself, and just be like, "Hey, this is where we're at. This is why I don't want to. Let's try. How are you feeling?" She said everything was great. So we talked about it. We tried to work on it. We tried to fix it. And then after about three or four months, I'm just like, "I don't want to." Occupy your time in this in this manner when it's not it's just not gonna get there. Let me. Um, so when you when you're talking about um, sex, right, and 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 talking about connection, so I, so let me expound on this a little bit more too. Why I feel the way I feel. I mean, I feel like sex is the icing on the cake, right? I mean, yes, it's very important in a relationship to have sex and have that sexual chemistry and all that. But to me, I look at it higher on a higher, more higher plane. Um, not saying that you know you're better than anybody else or anything like that, but I think it's one of those things where it's like. I think about purpose. You know, I think about, you know, yeah, when, you, when you come together with somebody, it's just not about, okay, she looks good, the sex is good. You know, we got some chemistry, we got some, you know, we got some good conversation, whatever, whatever. To me, I feel like a lot of couples don't make it because they don't have any purpose together. You know what I mean? It's almost like, let me give an example, right? So it's like, we're on an airplane, you know, um, we're flying to the same destination. Regardless of whatever happens while you're in the air, you're 10,000 feet in the air, right? You can't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? We all, we in this thing together. <laughs> We're going to the same destination. We, if we argue on the plane, if we fight, we fuss, you go to that front of the plane, I go to the back of the plane, we still on the same plane, regardless of, you know, the, w- w- whatever happens in our relationship. To me, that's how I look at a, a couple's coming together in purpose. Like we have the same purpose that we know we got the same ideas, things we want to do that God wants to do with us. That to me will keep you together longer than just having great sex or having sexual chemistry, whatever, whatever. So that just, my nah. okay, good. Cornelius, I, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, to to not uh, totally disagree with you. I mean, if baby making is the only destination you're trying to do and pleasure is not the island you're trying to visit, then I understand. But, you know, I want to ask people a question. Have you ever been with somebody, whether it's been long term or you had intimacy with intimacy with somebody and it just wasn't there? Like you kind of cringe or you back off when they touch you. It just was a loss of physical interest. You don't even know why, but there's no interest there. And they might touch you. Might be, might be somebody you like been through a lot with. Young, young. So how did you feel? Can somebody give her a mic? Because I, I want to elaborate on this. Well, that's a kip. Yeah, if you don't mind, because I want to elaborate on that. I mean, I think I felt how anybody else does. You just, you know, when you realize you're not sexually compatible or too much has happened in the relationship, and that's law, and that's intimacy, and that's really important. And so I know that you mentioned sex being icing. I think it's more of like the actual cake, you know? Like, yes. It's, you know, it's, it's sex 
really important. That's not yeah, just, that's, only kind of decision you should have. But I think like, you know, that can't be like a an afterthought. That can't be an afterthought. Marcus. Yeah, we got one. We got one person. Oh, hold on, Marcus. Yes. You gotta come over here. Because that question she just asked, no one yeah. sees that. So like, you gotta bring them over. All right. So we got another question over here. So what are you guys going to say right now? How many of you guys have waited six months out of prison? Oh, 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 oh. So, so, so after six oh, months, nice. right, if it was bad, you leave, right? If the second is bad, are you leaving after six months? No. Hold on. Whether I waited six months or not, um, <laughs> there's, there's, you can have sex with somebody on the first night, it's great. You can wait for three months, it can be great. Both the opposite, it can be true too. Sometimes you can wait for three months, six months, and the sex is trash, and you're like, man, I just wasted all my time. It's a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. I agree with her when she says it's not just the icing on the cake. It's it's the egg, it's a little bit of the oil, you know what I'm saying? It's it's part of the cake. And also, I feel that you really don't know somebody truly until you have sex with them. You can say that. You don't really know somebody until you have sex with them. Okay, so my thoughts on Corey's dating life. How much time do we have? Cra he's crazy and different. Don't hate me if I try harder than most men you have dated to make an connection with you on a first date. You're worth the effort. Can't lie. He got y'all with the first pick, okay? I believe that Corey did not finish elementary school. And it takes a lot to understand who this man is. And let me just tell you, he is so preparing himself and whoever gets him is gonna be so blessed and so lucky.